Uganda received its first positive case of COVID-19 on the 21st March 2020, and days later, the country started a partial lockdown that affected access to public transport. The lockdown also saw a suspension in immigration and registration of personal services. Following the partial reopening of the economy, the Internal Affairs Ministry has de resumed part of its operations. The summary of services that will resume at 30% under the Ministry include one, passport and immigration services, registration services for identification of persons, non-governmental organization regulations and operations, management of community services, demobilization, resettlement and reintegration of reporters. However, the minister says that some of the operations can only be accessed online. The minister also announced that the Department of Uganda Natural Chemotherapy Research Laboratory in Iwandegea has also resumed the operations. All DNA paternity cases referred to DIGAL by courts of law, the family units of the police, Ministry of Gender, Youth and Social Development, all criminal cases related to defilement, rape, murder, child neglect are now fully rece uh, received for analysis. Those whose national identity cards were lost have been advised how they can use online services to reclaim their particulars. You don't need to come physically. If your passport, for example, I mean your card is lost, you can use this USSD code. Star 216 has. Clients seeking services from the NIRA Kololo headquarters will be required to book appointments through the NIRA online appointment booking system. Those seeking to upgrade their passports to e-passports have up to June 2021. You'll go with your passport and use your passport to open what they call e-gates. E-gates in the, in the airports. The ministry has advised Ugandans to use regional offices, especially those services that require minimum interface with its officials. Jingo Francis, NTV.